I'm standing at the border between Poland and Ukraine at the Hrebrenna crossing. Behind me is our Knights of Columbus Mercy Hut. War refugees, women and children primarily, are walking across the border and receiving aid from the Knights of Columbus. Our Holy Father has asked us to pray for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine. In preparation for that, there is a nine-day novena. I invite you to join us in praying for an end to the war in Ukraine. We pray for the refugees. We pray for all those victims of the war, and we pray that the refugees would be reunited with their families. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary protect each refugee, and may she protect all of us. Please join us for this novena. God bless you. The Novena for the Consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I greet you, ever-blessed Virgin Mother of God, throne of grace, miracle of almighty power. I greet you, sanctuary of the most holy trinity and queen of the universe, mother of mercy and refuge of sinners. Most loving mother, attracted by your beauty and sweetness and by your tender compassion, I confidently turn to you, miserable as I am, and beg of you to obtain for me from your dear Son, the favor I request in this novena for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to your Immaculate Heart. Obtain for me also, O Queen of Heaven, the most lively contrition for my many sins and the grace to imitate closely those virtues which you practiced so faithfully, especially humility purity and obedience. Above all, I beg you to be my mother and protectress, to receive me into the number of your devoted children and to guide me from your high throne of glory. Do not reject my petitions, mother of mercy. Have pity on me and do not abandon me during life or at the moment of my death. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.